Are you finding that your sieve analysis results are constantly inaccurate? And no matter what you do, you can never get the reliable results? Well, odds are you might be overlooking the angle of repose. We'll show you how to calculate it, so stick around. Hey there, my name's Andrew Kotlar, and I'm here to ask the question, what is the angle of repose, and how do I calculate it? Well, here at WS Tyler, we take pride in helping our customers perfect their particle analysis operations and are prepared to use our 150 years of experience to ensure you make the most out of the angle of repose of your sample material. So with that, we'll go over what the angle of repose is, how the angle of repose benefits the particle analysis industry, how to calculate the angle of repose, and how a miscalculated angle of repose can affect your operation. The angle of repose is the slope angle in which a pile of sample material can withstand slumping on a given horizontal plane. Basically, it's how high a pile of material can stack to a point before it starts to fall apart. So in the world of particle analysis, the higher the slope of material, the more irregular in size the particles are. Lab technicians need to get a, a better feel for what is needed to fine tune their process and the angle of repose is a key indicator of the size and shape of the particles in a given sample. So for example, let's say you're testing uh, two piles of aggregate. You calculate that pile A has an angle of repose of 75 degrees and the angle of repose of pile B is 10 degrees. These calculations primarily affect test sieve analysis and help you determine how long you should be running your material. But that said, as the angle of repose increases, the longer you'll need to run your test sieve analysis. But if your angle of repose is smaller than expected, then the sieving time can be decreased. So when you're talking angle of repose, you're looking at piles of representative sample material, right? While you can mathematically measure the angle, you can usually visually see the actual angle. Transferring this visual is simply understanding what this angle means. With that, the first step in determining the angle of repose mathematically is to measure the sample pile from the base of the pile to the topmost part. You then want to measure the radius of the pile. Once both measurements have been obtained, enter them into a calculator using this formula. And it should be noted that the closer the angle of repose is to 90 degrees, the more irregular the particles are. If the angle of repose is miscalculated in any way, the particle analysis results you obtain will be affected. Like I said, the higher the angle of repose, the more you have to adjust your sieving process. Now it's important to understand that most companies that neglect to adjust their sieving time produce results with extreme variations more time than none. If you want to obtain the best results possible, it is vital that you follow the best practices when calculating the angle of repose, adjusting your test sieve analysis process to accommodate these calculations. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.